real life. Welcome to another edition of Virtue's Brand of Wrestling on BigVito.com and the Big Vito brand. So this past weekend, I was in Chicago, another case study of mine. As you know from my very first video on this channel, I talked about my WrestleMania week experience in New Orleans. And guess what? That was topped with some stuff that I experienced that it's just absolutely cringeworthy. And this is one money in the bank. And I was at NXT TakeOver Chicago the night before. So, you know, I got to Chicago early, early on Saturday. I got to go up into the Willis Tower, uh, which is used to be called the Sears Tower. That was pretty cool. I got to do the boat. Uh, river tour down the river looking at all the great buildings of Chicago. They talked about the fire uh, way back in the day because everything was made out of wood back then. Very, very cool Saturday. Ate it, you know, ate some good deep dish pizza, um, some hot dogs, you know, whatever was really popular in Chicago. And then I went to NXT at the Allstate Area Arena, which I like to think of it as Road on Horizon, where Chris Jericho debuted in the WWE in 1999. So I get there and we're, I'm, I'm in the middle of an NXT crowd. And all they wanted to do the entire show was chant, fight forever. This is awesome. You know the drill. You know the game. At one point, you know, several times, a few people try to start CM Punk chants in Chicago, and this NXT Markish crowd actually extinguished them because they don't want their NXT darlings, indie darlings, if you will, to get disrespected. A beach ball got tossed into the crowd, and quickly someone grabbed it and ripped it up. We are at NXT, people. We are at NXT, and this NXT Markish crowd stifled CM Punk chants and beach ball. There was no wave. There were no disrespectful going into business for themselves. They were marking out for everything that happened into the ring. You know, a couple times, and, and what really irritates me, they cheer for everybody, the heels, and it gets borderline ridiculous. A couple of people, Shayna Baszler and, of course, Tommaso Ciampa did get heel heat. But it's almost like I feel they that the fans give them heel heat because, well, we respect them so much, we're going to play along correctly. But like Undisputed Era, they're supposed to be heels. They get cheered. The, the team they were going against, they were getting booed but doing babyface things in the match. And, and finally, when the match was over, those two guys, the newbies, so to speak, they've been in NXT for a while. I can't even remember their name. But they lost to Undisputed Era. And then when they got up, they got their little ovation. Like, I mean, <laughs> what happened to suspending disbelief and playing along? You may not like everything on the show. You know what I mean? You may not like who's pushed as the top guy. But if you, can, if you play along at least to a point or just don't react – I'm fine with that. Take a bathroom break. Go buy a hot dog, popcorn, cotton candy, soda. I like to call that pop. Merchandise. I'm, I'm totally okay with that. you know. But if you sit there and you start hijacking the show, you just that's, that's an ass move. And the fact that these NXT fans want everyone to respect what's in the ring for that show – but fast forward to Money in the Bank, the main roster pay-per-view with the, the names that most people know. Now I want to bring up one Jinder Mahal versus Roman Reigns match. So if you didn't catch it, 
please go on my Twitter and you know tweet me at no DQ underscore virtue if you're having trouble finding the video. There was a video taken of me during the Roman and Gender match. As the beach balls were coming out, as people chanted, go away, CM Punk, 20 other wrestlers' names that weren't gender or Roman. You know, this match sucks. You can't wrestle. <laughs> I actually stifled a CM Punk chant in my area because I started chanting, fight forever, watching Roman and gender. How ironic is that? I had the balls. I started chanting, fight forever, clap, 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 for at least 20 seconds. Then I got up. And I said, you pay to take it, clap, 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 clap. And, and whatever else I said, you have to go watch it. I had fun. A lot of people thought I was drunk. But I assure you, now all of a sudden, it's okay to disrespect the performers in the ring by going into business for yourself with the wave and this and that. Look, you want to get your damn point across because you don't like gender and Roman then go take a bathroom break or sit in your seat and just fold your hands and be quiet or play on your phone. But you can't. You can't. They can't. I don't want to say you because this the big Vito brand fans watching this and, and Virtue fans watching this. So I'm, I don't mean you, but they. And here is my biggest problem of it all. As I want to put the brand for big Vito brand back on. Roman is forced as the company guy, right? And ever since he won the 2015 Royal Rumble, fans have hated him. He's not a champion right now. This was the mid card. Jinder got pushed as the WWE champion last year. People said from jobber to champion. He cut all these other people in line. No title on gender. This was the mid card. This was the mid card. And now everybody's excuse. Well, we don't like this feud. I've seen people say they don't like other feuds. Why not the disrespect? Lashley and Zayn, right? A lot of people said this is boring. But they really, because Sami Zayn was involved, it didn't get the negative reactions. Benedict Arnold fans, absolute BS. So you don't want to see gender push like he was, and you don't want to see Reigns as the top guy. They put these guys against each other in the mid cart, and you're still not happy. What what do you want? Sorry, I keep saying you, but we know what we mean. What do they want for these guys to be unemployed? The ir irony is most of these fans that want these guys not to be on TV and to not make money don't have jobs, live in attics and basements. Ma, the meatloaf. I want it now. The meatloaf. Freak. I want it now. Hunter's here. He got groomed, by the way. Come up here real quick. Do your quick cameo. He's got his little bandana on. All right. I got to finish my video. So the moral of the story is this. I watched the gender and Roman match. Do they do all the false finishes, the flipping and the flying? No. They do 70s and 80s type stuff, early 90s too. And now that's not wrestling. That uh, the They suck as performers. They're all over when those type of matches with the spots, the long, the false finishes were special, and, and you would get one, one match like that maybe every three months, every six months. Now fans want that all the time, and if two guys are out there just doing rest holds or punching each other, trying to you know be the guy and be the 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 foreign villain, get off my TV. They say you people are just full of just full of shit. You know, I I I'd like I like to call myself a proud wrestling fan, right? That respects people that do this for a full time living and not just going to little indie shows and sell a couple t-shirts and make 20 bucks like me. Okay. So therefore I'm more on the fan end than the worker end. And I'm okay with that. But I want the days back when 
things felt special and not watered down. And the fact that if you didn't like a heel, you booed him because you didn't like him or you really liked the guy they faced. But the fact that wrestling fans are just so moronic, they refuse to suspend their disbelief and play along, even if that's what the company is telling you, knowing you have a whole show, you can still cheer who for who you like and, and pop for them. And I'm fine if you boo Roman. If you just naturally, if you boo Roman because you, you don't like him, that's fine. But when you start saying you can't wrestle, you know, go away, it just, it's just it's so irritating and disrespectful. And that, that's sad that the casuals are gone. Vince Russo has said it. Jeff Lane has said it. Big Vito has said it. Everybody on Big Vito brand has said it. Everybody on Russo's brand has said it. And I've seen it elsewhere. The casual fans are gone. The remaining fans are the indie marks that, like I said, they have every T-shirt of all of their vanilla midgets, which I don't even like that term because I respect all the wrestlers. Sami Zayn. I used to hate you know, AJ Styles, Rollins, etc. Finn. I used to hate Cena. And then I was like, you know what? I don't hate Cena. I hate the character Cena. And I would crap on him, get hurt in the match. I hope you're out six months. But I respect John Cena now. He did what he had to do to be the top guy. Was it your cookie cutter type like what Roman Reigns is supposed to be? Yeah. But you know what? I'm not going to come out and say I am a Roman Reigns supporter, Jinder Mahal supporter, you know, Vince McMahon type guy supporters, and now contradict myself and say I was wrong by, by, not, by not at least giving Cena the benefit of the doubt and putting up through his stuff. You know, and I never did walk out as I've seen. I made some negative tweets, you know, Cena sucks, whatever. I played, but I never did go away and this and that. If I was guilty of anything, it was just saying, yeah, I hope Cena got hurt so he'd lose his spot. But, you know, what a bullshit, what a dick thing to say, you know, and I regret it because if you like what they give you, you're going to get stuff that you want. The fact that, most of the time, it's the main event that's probably what most people don't want. Then what happens is people get so upset, and then they crap on the performers that Vince McMahon and WWE pushes. Now they're bitter about those guys, no matter where they are on the card. And they then you start saying these guys suck. You know they're, they're not they're they're not even worthy of being on TV. Vince McMahon is paying guys over a million dollars a year. Roman, I think, makes five million. He's obviously worthy of it because Vince isn't going to give a guy that much money per year and then have that guy not bring something back to the table financially, especially at this length. Roman's headlined four manias in a row. If Roman was that bad, Vince McMahon would have pulled the plug. Here's where all the haters say, well, Vince is being stubborn. He just wants to get him over or he's just so mad at the fans not accepting it that – He's going to just keep forcing him and forcing him. Like I said, if Roman wasn't bringing anything to the table at all, the guy's $175, whatever it costs, uh, fan access at WrestleMania line sells out every year. He's always up there top two merchandise. He's always – his toys are selling at Walmart and Target. You know, it's usually the pop figures, his pop vinyl figures. I can't find a Roman one, but ever, all the other wrestlers are readily available. You go to the toy aisle in Kmart, and usually there's maybe one or two Roman things hanging. Uh, all the other people, there's five or six of them. The whole row on the bottom are up on the flex position on the overhead. But Roman's ones are – somebody out there is buying Roman stuff. And you create a character like Jinder Mahal as a heel foreigner guy because that's what's always worked for Vince McMahon. And But we're in 2018, they say. And we're in the era now of five-star and seven-star matches, which is also bullshit. God, boy, boy, did he, did Dave Meltzer date his star rating system. By the way, Dave, on this channel, I can call you out as an absolute asinine, jackass, moron, Raymond Babbitt, pull your jeans up with your socks showing with, a ten, with your five-inch flood waiting for Noah's Ark. And, and on your arc, instead of animals, it's going to be all your new Japan darlings and Kenny Omega that you're going to save from the great flood. That, oh, I might take a clip of this 
video, or I hope somebody on the Big Vito brand channel does and tags Meltzer directly. Because some of the other websites I contribute to, out of respect, because they pull news off of Meltzer's channel, I don't directly insult him. But here I can do it. You're, you're an absolute ass. And the fact that you've probably become a, a low-end millionaire because of these leeches that give you money for your fan opinion. Unbelievable, Raymond Babbitt. And everybody know if you don't know who Raymond Babbitt is, it's Rain Man. In no way am I disrespecting autism because everybody knows that that was a role in a movie of Dustin Hoffman playing a guy you know, with autism. But maybe, Dave, maybe you're in a way a little bit autistic. I, okay. That, if you are, maybe, maybe that's why you think that you are in the business and you're counting numbers, 578, 9,372, Kmart. But again, the moral of the story is Dave Meltzer, you're a fool. You're a fool and your leeches crap on people like Roman Reigns and Jinder Mahal. But what you can't deny is the highest paid wrestlers in the world are the guys that you don't like, Brock Lesnar. Roman Reigns. So how does that make you feel? How's your boy Shinsuke Nakamura doing? Did, did he win the WWE title? I believe, I wish he would have got a short run as a heel, but Vince won't even pull the trigger with that because like Shin says, we call him Shin these days, on TV he says no speak English. And that's why he's not the WWE champion. That's why Asuka is not the women's champion. Sure, they were NXT. Vince doesn't care about NXT. NXT on the on the USA Network that one time drew 800,000 people. NXT is a WWE niche, a WWE Network niche product that Vince allows Triple H to run. But in reality, it's not Vince McMahon's vision. It's not Vince McMahon's theory. And I'm going to be doing a video of uh, following up on a column I had on WrestlingWithWrestling.com, uh, the Vince McMahon theory, part two. But this one's going to be in video form, uh, and it's going to it's going to kind of overlap a little bit of this talking about my uh, Money in the Bank weekend experience. So let's all right. You know that's it. You know I bashed Meltzer and his in his arc of New Japan animals. Um, I have crapped on the fans that. Oh, let's respect all these NXT matches, but we'll come the next night and we'll disrespect Roman and Jinder, two professionals. I've crapped on you. There's not much more I can say. So movies of the week, I'm going to do four and one. Everybody knows the vacation movies, Chevy Chase, Beverly D'Angelo, I believe. So the very original one is National Lampoon's Vacation. Wally World, baby. The introduction of Cousin Eddie. Awesome movie. Um, a lot of one that kind of goes under the radar was European Vacation, in a weird European type way. I enjoyed that. That was a good one. And then, of course, on this one, it's the same cover. We got Christmas Vacation. To me, the greatest Christmas movie of all time. Highly debatable. I, I get it, but Cousin Eddie, Shitter was full. Awesome movie. And then, of course, Vegas Vacation. That, that uh, Vegas vacation was very good. Remember that part when they were in the cheap buffet and Cousin Eddie? Cousin Eddie's awesome, by the way. I'll have some of the blue. I'll have some of the yellow. Don't you be chinzy on me now. And then when they got back to the table, he was eating the bread pudding. Mm, the bread pudding looks extra runny tonight. So if you haven't seen all four of these vacation movies, yes, there was a, a new version with Christina Applegate. And that other guy, it was okay, but uh, I would have liked to see Chevy and De um, Beverly D'Angelo in it more. And, of course, Quaid, but he's off of his rockers up in Canada now, fleeing our government, I think. So that's a shame, but Hollywood legends. So these are the movies of the week, the Chevy Chase National Lampoon's Vacation Movies. That's comedy. WWE tries to do comedy these days. Ugh. Lashley sisters. Ugh. So that's it for this week's Virtues brand of wrestling. You can catch me on Twitter at no DQ underscore virtue. And you know, all the other sites I contribute for 
I love doing these videos for the Big Vito brand and BigVito.com. And Noel and Vito, happy birthday. I was part of that little video. That was awesome. Um, if you need to crop the Meltzer rant, if it came across good and wanted to put that up there as separate too, I'm all for that and copy Dave Meltzer on it because I don't care. But this is Virtue, and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody, Danny J here, reminding you to watch Lost in Saturday Mornings, every Saturday morning, right here on the Big Vito Brand. Yo!